This video will cover the topic Finding Trigonometric Ratios from a Point on the Unit Circle. To start, let's review the trigonometric identities. This way, when we are given coordinates, we can identify the sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant values from the coordinate point. Okay, I remember that sine equals y, cosine equals x, and tangent equals y over x. But what about the rest of the values? Good question. The values of the other three are the multiplicative inverses of the first three. Sine corresponds to cosecant, cosine to secant, and tangent to cotangent. This means that cosecant is equal to 1 over y, secant is equal to 1 over x, and cotangent is equal to x over y. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand how to identify trigonometric ratios, but can we do a quick example just to be sure? Sure. Let's look at the example problem. Suppose that theta is an angle in standard position whose terminal side intersects the unit circle at 8 over 17, comma, 15 over 17. Find the exact values of cotangent of theta, sine of theta, and secant of theta. From the chart before, we stated that cotangent is equal to x over y, which means that it is equal to 8 over 17 over 15 over 17, right? Exactly. Dividing these two fractions yields 8 fifteenths. To find the sine of theta, we look at the y-coordinate of the terminal point, yielding 15 over 17. Lastly, to find the secant of theta, we take the inverse of x, yielding 1 over 8 seventeenths, and this simplifies to 17 over 8. Thus, our final answers are cotangent of theta equals 8 fifteenths, sine of theta equals 15 seventeenths, and secant of theta equals 17 over 8. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand how to use the chart of trigonometric identities to solve our trigonometric ratios, but can we do another example just to be sure? Sure. Suppose that theta is an angle in standard position, whose terminal side intersects the unit circle at square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. Find the exact values of cosecant of theta, tangent of theta, and sine of theta. Start by finding the cosecant. Substitute the y-coordinate into the appropriate identity, 1 over y, to yield 1 over negative 1 half. Then simplifying this results in negative 2. Perform the same substitutions for the next two ratios. Tangent represents y over x, yielding negative 1 half over the square root of 3 over 2, which results in negative square root of 3 over 3. Lastly, the sine of theta is equal to the y-coordinate, yielding negative one-half. This topic is starting to make sense now, but let me summarize just to be sure. We begin by identifying the trigonometric identities that will be needed to solve the given problem. Next, we will substitute the appropriate x and y values from our coordinate point into the trigonometric identities. Solving these equations yields our values for the trigonometric ratios based on the point on the unit circle. That's right. 